to address the issues facing Tennesseans today. From 10 News, this is Inside Tennessee. Good morning and welcome to Inside Tennessee. I'm your moderator, John Becker. This is election week and voters will weed out candidates for federal and state primary. Our focus is an 11 member body that is the most powerful elected body in Knox County. County Commission is going to see some new faces and one of those will be in District 1, which covers the east side of the county from downtown out and two newcomers are vying for that spot and we welcome this morning Daisha Lundy, the Democrat in this race and the independent Reg Reginald Jackson. We appreciate both of you being here with us and we also have our regular panelists, Don Vosch, who is a Democrat, runs his own law firm. Susan Richardson Williams runs her own PR firm. She happens to be a Republican. Glad to have you with us as well. And let's start with why you're running and what qualifies you for this important office that represents some 70,000 people. Ms. Lundy, we'll start with you. So why am I running? I always uh, love serving my community. I've been doing that probably since I was in high school. I used to tutor kids at Fair Garden. Uh, I always been involved and I came back, served on numerous boards. Uh, most recently, uh, I was the immediate past president of the Burlington Residents Association and really just trying to figure out how to restore and revitalize uh, blighted properties. And um, th through my efforts, I was able to bring the community together and able to get funding to uh, help get uh, crosswalks and and lighting in Burlington. So a lot of people kept encouraging me to run. So I was skeptical at first, but you know, I just kept hearing it. And I said, you know, why not run? You know, I, I like I say, I love serving the community. Um, and that's why I'm running to be your next county commissioner. Mr. Jackson, your reason for running? Uh, yes, my name is Reginald Jackson. And of course I'm running for county commissioner district one. And the reason I'm running is because to give the district something new. Uh, the district has always been pushed to the Democratic side. Uh, and so uh, it's hard to run as a Republican. So I ran as an independent because I believe independents, uh, we are the working class. We are the ones who drive the nation forward. And I want to run to help change some things that have been going on in our district. Uh, and so that's why I'm running. Don Bosch. Yeah, Daisha, I have a question for each of you, but I'll start with you, Daisha. I want to go back to the primary, and um, you managed to do something. You may have been the upset of the evening back in the primaries that you took out Evelyn Gill, uh, an established uh, county commissioner, an established community leader like you. I'm curious to what you think that you might have to offer our community that's different than what Evelyn Gill did, did and does. Uh, how do you think you're going to be different from her as a county commissioner should you win? Well, I think what I heard the most from people is that I'm a visionary and I love bringing people together. And my, my the core of my message was we are one. It represented being a uh, district one, but realizing that we are one. We are one people and we, we all want the uh, same thing, safety in our neighborhoods. We want jobs, housing, uh, great schools for our um, for our children, so I just really stuck to my uh, to my gut, um, and just really being transparent, and authentic in my message, and I and I really want to hone in on that. We do have a 42 percent poverty rate among Blacks, and it's time for that to change if we want our county to go to the next level. Well, we can do you think that what I'm you're sorry, talking? Ahead, I'm sorry, what you're talking about as your focus is that much different than what Evelyn had been saying when she was the county commissioner and still is, I might add. Mm -hmm. Yes. You do. Did you add, uh, can you repeat that? Cause it sounded like you're echoing. Sure. What you just said, do you think that your agenda and your platform, so to speak, is, is that much different than what Evelyn Gill has, has proposed and pushed as a county commissioner right now? I think my platform is different. You know, I, like I say, I'm authentic and I'm a people person. And I was very specific on what I would like to see as far as uh, restoring the knots for college, making sure we have affordable housing, make sure we have um, a great schools in District 1, and uh, really uh, kind of just restoration and revitalization of those blighted properties in our district. 
And Mr. so, Jackson, Reginald, you to you. Up on Don's uh, question there and, and how you would be different than current Commissioner Evelyn Gill. Uh, um, I'm, I'm going to be. Go ahead, Rachel. I think I would be a lot different. First of all, I am fifth generation in this town. Uh, my uh, my ancestors, uh, they made it off of trades. And that's one thing that uh, the current county commissioner uh, and my opponent has not uh, talked much about, uh, about trades. Uh, college is great. College has been working for some. But as we can see in our community, we want trades back in our high and middle schools. And, and that will be the main thing that's be different from uh, what is going on now uh, to make sure uh, that we get trades back into the high middle school, which will help out with jobs that are open. It's a lot of jobs. We have 7,000 jobs open right now in Knoxville, Tennessee, and they're not getting filled because people don't have the skills to fill them jobs. And also, uh, you know, working with veterans and trying to get more the veterans back into society because it's a lot of homeless veterans right now up under the bridge that we kind of forgot about that have given their life but they don't uh it seems like they've been forgot about by uh the politicians and other people we're going to pick up on some more specifics about issues again the knox county commission decides on how much money to devote to schools and parks and roads and susan we'll start with you right after the break <laughs> 